the heart of this show is real people, people coming out of the darkness, sharing their story, talking about what they feel in their lives. Loneliness, take a look. An epidemic of loneliness and isolation is on the rise across the United States. I remember my parents telling me about bowling leagues and being able to go to the mall and then th and doing things like that in real life. But now when you meet someone, you exchange Instagrams. That's how people uh, make connections, right? It's like, you have anxiety? Oh my gosh, me too. Despite how connected we've become online, the Surgeon General's advisory found that young adults are twice as likely to be lonely than seniors. And honestly, I just feel forgotten about and pushed to the side. Since 2003, there's been nearly a 70% decline in the amount of time people between the age of 15 and 24 spend with their friends in real life, with the COVID pandemic contributing to the decline. So many of those have gone to social media to share their struggles. I have never felt so lonely in my entire life. I just didn't think at this point I'd be where I am today. One of our guests is the young woman you saw in that video, Fiona Wynn. She went viral on TikTok after posting her video, revealing her struggles, making friends as she got older. So many people responded. A lot of celebrities reached out and commented on videos like this. Fiona, we have actually a tape to play. Let's play it. I just cried for the last, you know, 30 minutes. You can tell my nose is still pretty red from it. I feel like it always hits me on like a Friday night when I have to like make plans because I didn't do it early in the week. And let's be honest, as we get older, making friendships is harder and your friends move away. So you can't see those folks every, every day like you used to. And so you have to make new friends. And I just didn't think at this point I'd be where I am today. Here I am crying about being alone. Yeah. Mm. That video was shared thousands of times. As I mentioned, people were commenting on Fiona's raw honesty and how it made them feel. Tinks, who's a popular social media influencer, millions of followers commented saying, you're not alone. So many people feel this way, me included. Be kind to yourself, sending love. Fiona is with us now in studio. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I mean, Everybody in this audience raised their hand when I asked if you feel lonely. You posted that moment. You're getting ready to go out and it just hit you and you wanted to share it. What, what? I always wonder, right before you hit sin, what's the goal? So I actually had that sitting in draft that night because I was like, I don't know if I want to post this because I didn't expect to cry on that video because I was, I just was like, I cried 30 minutes ago. I'm putting on my makeup. I'm not trying to. What happened you know. that day that set off the emotions? Yeah, so there's like two points to it. So I was coming up to my one year anniversary of ending my relationship, mm -hmm. moving to a new city, starting a new job. And then the second half is one of my best friends that I met moving was moving home. Mm -hmm. And so she was always kind of like my person. So it really just dawned on me that, you know, I wasn't going to have her around anymore and that friendship was going to change. Right. And you, you are at this age, you're 28. And that's an interesting age for many reasons because you meet your friends in elementary school. You meet friends in middle school. You get some buddies in high school. If you go to college or your first job, you meet people there. And then it gets harder to meet friends. Mm -hmm. And you were experiencing that. Or to make new friends, I should say. To make, I guess, like meaningful friendships. Meaningful ones, right. Because you can make friends, but like you're not always going to vibe with them. You're not yeah. going to have that deep connection. And so when you find that person that like really gets you and they leave, yeah. even though I had friends I had made in Denver, I just didn't feel like I was connected to them. So. Right, because it's not just about the, the number of people around you. That's why I said earlier, you know, I think people can relate to being in a room full of people, but still feeling alone. Mm -hmm. So you're in a lot of rooms, but you're feeling disconnected from the people in front of you. I read that you said, I never thought that I would be in this position. And you even reveal that you've gone to like 15 concerts <laughs> trying to meet and make meaningful friendships. And that is not cheap. That's a very expensive <laughs> way to try to meet friends. But you were trying to put yourself out there. Yeah, you've got to put a lot of effort when you move cities to join a friend group. And yeah. that was kind of like what they did. So I 
put a lot of effort there, but I feel like those friendships were so surface level. I love that too, because somebody said back in the day, they'd have bowling leagues. My mom was in a softball league called the Bees. <laughs> Shout out for Texas Bees. You know, <laughs> and she was in her 20s, a young mom, but she had her group and I've had other social groups, but, but now groups are group chats. Mm -hmm. And nobody's in the same room, you're just texting and likely giving shade about other people. Uh, That's what a lot of chats that. I'm in, I'm saying. <laughs> but yours a little more, but you're in a group chat, but, but not in the room with one another. Uh, for the like new friends that we're making? Or? But just in general, I'm saying generationally, because a big part of this, according to the research, is not that social media is all bad, and I don't believe that, but so much of it is disconnecting for people. Yeah, I feel like it either makes people feel more isolated because they're not invited to something. Like I would see a story and I'm like, oh, I thought I was a part of this, this friend group. Like, so it made I you wasn't. feel even more yeah. isolated. So then I was like, maybe I'm not as good as a friend I thought I was. Otherwise I would have been invited. So, so it makes you feel left out.